Today we got a really cool vehicle for you. From 2004, this is the Steel Flame Hot Wheels truck. This truck was based on Steve Platt's custom GMC Sonora. On the side you'll see the liquid metal flames looking really, really neat. And um, look at those, look at those fender wells, how those are customized. Oh, really cool. This car must be spectacular in real life. Hopefully it still exists. Got the double cab there with a the, with the little window in back and got the tonneau cover on it. Nice looking car. Nice looking truck rather. Crank it series. So a lot of, lot of nice vehicles in that series and this being one of them. If you turn it around and take a look not a lot of modeling on this car, but some great tempo, but not a lot, a whole lot of modeling. Got basically a white grill, got the, got the lights modeled, but not painted in. You know, you might've seen this actually on a custom truck exactly like this. So I don't hold that against this particular car. Got the air dam underneath with the, with the black inlets. Pretty cool. Coming on around. The wheels are actually in white as you can see very well right now. As far as anything on the roof, there's nothing on the roof or on the engine cover. Nothing there. Looks great regardless. As noted, got the white wheels. Now if you come on around to this side of the vehicle, and I'll zoom in on it right here for you, you'll find that it's almost as though they didn't know what to do with the two on this 2004 Southern Tour Tempo. The two got kicked off to the very edge of the front left quarter panel. And then the 004 and Southern Tour got on the door and the rear quarter panel. Interesting. And then the Hot Wheels is in the, in the flames themselves, as you can see, really neat. And I had to really squeeze it in tight to get that in there. That's that's pretty cool. I love the, I love the flames on this one. The wheels, they're called saw blade. A lot of people call them saw blade wheels. The windows themselves, they're clear, so you can see right in the vehicle. The passenger and driver sides both are rolled up. The interior is tan. I think I may have mentioned that. Got a steering wheel modeled and a couple of seats in there. Pretty standard for the interior. If you spin the vehicle on around, you'll see that the taillights are not painted, or rather, they're painted, they're just painted brown. Now, you can see the indentations where they're modeled at in the actual casting, but they're not painted. Now, this truck could have went to shows exactly like this, or if it didn't have taillights, then perhaps they were tiny little slits that High Wheels basically could not replicate. It, it, I don't know if this truck would have been brought in on a trailer to a show or if it would have been driven on the street. Hard to say. Bring it on around. There's no muffler on the vehicle. I would think a vehicle like this probably would have a muffler, but who knows? Who knows what Mr. Platt would have wanted on his, on his truck. Looks great regardless. Looking at the truck bed, we've got Country Spectacular Live with. Now I'm not I'm not familiar with who this is on there. Is that is that somebody fictitious? Is that somebody real? No idea. But it appears to be playing a guitar. But pretty neat. Pretty neat for the tonneau cover. Those wheel arches, the fenders just give it a real racy look though. And and the gap behind the wheels, that's that's an interesting look. I, I, you don't see that very often. Now you'll notice on this side of the truck, the 2004 looks perfectly fine. But the R in the word tour is on the fender in very small lettering. So I think that was what was going on. I think it was designed such that the letter that's on the, on the front fender was going to be smaller. And in this particular case, it works perfectly fine. In the case of the left side, the two had to be made substantially smaller. But you can also see the great detail 
on the flames there. Let me zoom in on them for you. Look at that. This truck has some fantastic tempo. I'd say go on eBay and find yourself one and really enjoy it. Hopefully, Hot Wheels will bring it out again in their mainline series. Bringing it on around a little bit more for you to look at again. Just a great looking truck. Let's flip it over on its side and see what we got to read underneath there. We got Steel Flame. We've got Made in Malaysia. Copyright 2002 Mattel. We've got a what appears to be a muffler, probably a catalytic converter, transmission, and a differential underneath there with a solid rear axle looks like. Pretty nice. Got a axle up front, a couple of rivets, black plastic on the base. Neat, neat, neat vehicle. I like it a lot. Looks great on my shelf. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll be bringing more great vehicles like this to you in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and have a great day.